What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you're tuning into another episode of My Lawn. All right, today we're going to maintain our power rotary scissors. Yes, this is a pricey tool that requires some maintenance, so let's get to it. First things first, make sure you are not connected to the trimmer. It would be wise to take the rotary scissor off of your unit, but in this case, ours is attached to the ego attachment tool, which is not connected. Cardboard box if you have it, because this is going to be a greasy little mess. Go ahead and use some needle nose pliers to pinch and take off the bottom disc bracket. Rotate the bottom disc to remove it. Same process goes for the bottom blade attached to the bottom disc. You rotate to the bigger holes to remove it. Rotate the upper blade to remove it. You will see the blade rotates to the bigger holes, so then you can lift off the blade. Unscrew the nuts. I used a 5 16 socket, then use my works drill to remove all 11 a nuts. I'm anal retentive, so I'm marking where the factory had the parts originally, just to make sure we're lining up correctly when we reassemble the unit. Pull up gently on the centerpiece, which is also called the lower oil case. Go ahead and pull it up to remove it. And now you can take off the gear assembly. This is the time to clean off all the debris from the unit. I am vacuuming some of the old grass and I'm washing both blades and the lower disc a cover. I am adding the Mariyama EP0 grease to all the moving parts, all the gears, anything that's going to spin the scissors will be getting this grease. Once you're done cleaning, assemble everything back together. Put the gear assembly back on, skipping every other nut. Put the oil case back on and tighten the nuts with low torque in a star pattern to create even coverage. Enough that it will not come loose. If you hand tighten too much, the rotary scissors will not spin just like this. I had to learn the hard way. I tightened it a little bit too much and it wouldn't work. So we had to uh, disassemble again. But it's a good learning, good learning experience. And you're learning from me by watching this video. Make sure you can spin the gear assembly once you tighten down all the nuts, tightening in a star pattern. As you can see here, I am testing it out, making sure it is spinning a loosely. Now check your blades to make sure they are sharp. In this case, we've only had this for two weeks, so they are still pretty sharp. These will require a file or a sharpening stone, which we have. Once they're ready to be sharpened, we'll go ahead and make a video for that. Go ahead and place the upper blade through the bigger holes and twist to lock it in place. Place the lower blade on the lower disc, twisting it into place and putting it on the top of the upper blade. And there you go. Using your needle nose pliers, pinch the disc bracket and place it back onto the bottom disc, ensuring it is locked in. I purchased this 3 ounce grease gun from Harbor Freight for about $10. Easy to assemble, remove the bottom casing from the top and pull the lever all the way out. You add your grease that came with it into the grease tube and then screw the bottom casting back onto the head. You are then going to screw the nozzle to the head and push the lever back all the way in until it stops. Squeeze the trigger until the grease comes out. Ooh. Go back to the rotary scissors, remove this nut on the top and the two nuts on the top casing of the rotary scissors. Add grease to the top until you can't add any more. Go ahead and add grease to the two holes as well until you can't add any more. Then replace all three bolts. We are now going to put the attachment to our Eagle Multi Head tool and test our work. Hello. Looks good, my dudes. So just remember, you should be adding grease at least every 10 hours of use with this bad boy. Yes, a lot of moving parts 
it creates a lot of heat. So you're gonna wanna keep this guy greased up. Now, for major jobs, you're gonna wanna do this and clear everything out. Now, me, I'm gonna do this every 10 hours, the whole process. It doesn't take too long. If I wasn't recording and you know doing a little tutorial, it would definitely take me maybe, maybe 10 minutes. It's not that hard. This is very easy and it's definitely needed if you have the rotary scissors. Thanks for watching my dudes. Really appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.